Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss how we can install the EEG agent on Linux operating system. Before we start the installation, we need to gather two basic required information. First, we need to know the EEG manager IP address or host name and the port number for communication. I'm going to use EEG on tab.eginnovations.com and the port number 80 for this installation. We also have to make sure that we are able to communicate with the EEG manager. So I will try connecting to the EG manager. This is the Linux server. I'm going to install the EG agent and I'm going to use the command telnet to check the connectivity with the EG manager. Telnet EG on tab dot EG innovations dot com and the port number 80. And we could see we are able to communicate with the EG manager. The next one is proxy server information. As I mentioned earlier, EG uses HTTP or HTTPS for communication. In some infrastructure, proxy servers are used for communication. As shown in the below example picture, the server in the location A communicates with the EG manager directly. But in the location B server, uses proxy for communication. In that case, we need the proxy server IP address and the port number for EG agent and manager communication. If the authentication is involved for the proxy, then we need the username and password as well. Since we have all the information handy, now let's start the EG agent installation. We are going to use the WinSCP software to transfer the EG packages from the local system to the Linux machine. And we could see that we are copying these packages to the op directory. Let us make sure that uh, the files has been copied properly to the Linux machine. And now we could see that the uh, packages are copied properly to the Linux machine. Here we could see that the eg underscore linux dot gz is a zipped file. So I'm going to use the command gunzip to unzip this file. And we could see that the file has been unzipped to eg agent underscore linux dot tar. We have to change the right privilege for the file iagent underscore linux dot sh to continue the installation. Now I am going to check whether the right privilege has been uh, given to this file or not. And we could see here that the privilege for this file has been changed. Now let's start the installation. For EG agent installation, we need an EG user and by default it's eGurka and I'm going to use the same. And here we need to enter the directory in which the EG agent should be installed and I'm using the default one which is opt. And please press the enter to continue the installation. I'm giving S yes for the EG agent to auto restart on system boot up. Now the EG agent has been successfully installed. We have to log in as a EG install user, which in this case is eGurka. Now we have to move to the eGurka directory to install the agent. Execute the setup underscore agent script to install the EG agent. I'm giving S for the licensing option. Now I'm going to give EG manager hostname which is EG on tab dot EG innovations dot com. And the port number here is 80. Since there is no proxy involved in this scenario, I'm going to give no for this option. This is the option where we can provide nickname for the agent. Agent nickname is an alternate identifier for the EG agent. Normally during communication, the EG manager identifies the EG agent with an IP address. 
in some environments where dynamic IP system is prevalent in such scenario you can assign a unique nickname for the EG agent and the EG manager will identify the EG agent with this nickname irrespective of the IP address since we have static IP environment I'm giving no to this option these are additional adapter plugins used for monitoring additional components and since we are not using this option I'm giving no for this option now we have completed the EG agent installation once the EG agent installation is completed we have to start the EG agent okay. this ends the EG agent installation and thanks for your time and have a great day